Okay, so part of this project is you need to add text and fades and titles, or titles and credits and fades to this video. Meaning it cannot just it cannot just start abruptly and it cannot just end abruptly. Okay, I need a fade in and a fade out. Okay, so let me show you where all the fades are. Effects. There's an effects panel. Not to be confused with effect controls, but effects panel. A fade is considered a transition. So under video transitions and under dissolve, you see cross dissolve. The reason it has a blue square is because that is the default transition. It's most commonly used. Okay, I'll talk about that in a second. Now to apply a transition, I simply click here and drag it to the beginning. Okay, and then drag this one to the end. It's very small, it's hard to see, but it's there. Look, fade in, fade out. Okay, now m remember I said there's always more than one way to do everything in Premiere. So let me show you the other way of doing that. Just for this, just for this transition. I'm gonna delete it and then delete this one. Now you've noticed this is a, there's a blue square here. That means it's the default transition. So there's a shortcut to add the default transition to a video. If I click the end of a video and hit Command D as in dog, look, adds it. I'll click over here at this, hit Command D, adds it there too. Okay, so that's Command D for the default transition. Okay, now I'm going to move everything over because I want to add some titles in the beginning. I'm going to go ahead, hit, go ahead and hit the letter A to highlight everything. Remember, if I if I hover my cursor over this tool, you see the letter A in parentheses there. It tells me that that's the shortcut. Okay, if I hold this down, there's other uh, other other things there. So A, I've I've, I've, I've I, now I'm in the select all tool. So if I click if I click um, a clip, it'll select everything from that clip and forward. So I'm gonna move it over a little bit. Now I'm gonna go over here to the by type tool, or I can hit the letter T, and I can put um, Mr. Oh, it's way big. Mr. Rose's safety project. Okay, way too big. So how do I adjust this stuff? I'm going to go to adjust the, to adjust titles. There's a number of ways to do that. Like I said, more than one way to do everything. One way is effect controls. There's my title. It says and it's highlighted. If I don't have if I don't have a highlighted, I won't see anything in there. But if I whatever's highlighted is what you'll see in your effect controls panel. I'm going to highlight my text. Open up the drop down menu. Let's make it way smaller. Jake Rose Safety Project. Let's pick a font that's a little little like cooler. I don't know. Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. Let's go ahead and center it, and then oop, it kind of moved over there. I'll just grab it. Oop. So the reason why I can't move it is because I'm in my my type tool. I'm gonna go to my select tool now. I can take it and drag it. There we go. Uh, great. Boom. So it's here. It's just like any other clip. Notice how if I hit play, it just starts immediately. And it immediately will go away. And then the next thing will fade in. So if I want, if I want to be a little more slick about it, I hit A, select all, bring my video back to here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go click this piece of video here and hit Command D to add my default transition to it. So watch this. Look at that. Default transition. And I want it to fade out at the end, so let me pause it. I'm going to zoom in here with my plus sign. And it's being a little weird. Sometimes if it's up against another clip, it'll be kind of weird. So I'm just going to do it manually, drag it in. Let's see it. Very nice. Let's check it out what I have. Very cool, very cool. Now I want you to fade in and fade out at the end of your video, but if you want to get creative with your titles, you can do that too, okay? Um, now I'm gonna add uh, text at the end. I'm gonna, add a new, I'm gonna add a go to the end here. I'm gonna add a new piece of text. So I'm gonna put um, <laughs> everything by. Now I'm gonna want you guys to be a little more uh, detailed with your, with your, with your uh, 
your credits, but I'm just doing this because I want to be quick with this, with this uh, tutorial. Boom, I'll hit Command D so it fades in and out on that text. Oop. Let's see what we got. Very nice, and fade out. Very cool, cool. Again, I'm hitting the plus sign to zoom in, the minus sign to zoom out on my timeline. Okay, this video, I'm kind of just going over the basics, so I'm kind of going quick just to help you guys get this video done. Now I'm ready to export. I'm gonna to go to export, okay? I'm gonna name it something. You must name it something. Don't just call it video or untitled, okay? I'm gonna call it uh, tripping hazard, okay? I'm gonna decide where it's going. I'm not just gonna let it go anywhere. If, it, if this window pops up, you're not sure where to click, hit that down button right there. Again, this down arrow. I'm gonna choose where it's going, desktop, my, my folder, semester one, safety video. It's gonna land in my safety video folder, hit save. Okay, now, format. I know it's hard to remember, it's not a nice round number or whatever, but you're gonna save it as an H.264 format, okay? That's the common format that's used on YouTube and uh, phones and things like that. So straight up H.264, and everything else is probably fine. If you wanna save yourself a teeny tiny bit of time, you can go to match source and go a little bit rate. That's, that's up to you. It does not need to be high quality. I'm gonna go ahead. Now, I know what it's called. I know where it's going. And I have it in the proper H.264 format. That's the format I want. That's MP4. I'm gonna hit export. It's exporting. Might take a minute here. Oh, cancel, I made a mistake. Look, I muted my video. Okay, I muted, I'm gonna unmute it, my bad. Because if you mute it, it'll be muted when you export it, okay? So now I'm gonna go back to export. My settings are still the same. Oh, I remember, don't forget to call it something. Tripping hazard, export. Uh, yeah, I'll replace it because I know the other one's messed up. And that's it. When it's done exporting, it should be in the folder that I selected, and um, you'll be ready to turn it in.